I met Akagi Jinja, a shrine originally constructed more than 700 years ago in the year 1300. It was rebuilt in 2010 using modern and innovative construction methods and even received a good design award in 2013. This is Hoshiko Takizawa, who's one of the Gonnegi or general clerical staff of the shrine. We asked the Gonnegi about the characteristics of Akagi Shrine. For a shrine, it's a bit unusual, but the main hall is encased in glass like this. The guardian dogs also have a slightly unusual shape and have been attracting attention from visitors. Originally, a shrine stood here for 700 years, but sadly it burned down during the war. When rebuilding it, they decided to make it a modern shrine that matched the atmosphere of the Kagurazaka area, where there's a mixture of the old and the new, and that's why it's been designed in this unique style. Shrines are originally meant to enshrine local deities, and local residents would come to shrines to pray when they faced difficulties or give thanks when something good happened in their daily lives. Shrines offered a sense of fulfillment to the lives of people. In addition to such people in recent years, we've also received many people from overseas. This is a shop selling colorful froshki, which are cloths traditionally used to wrap parcels so that they are easier to carry, much like bags. Nowadays, the use of plastic shopping bags and plastic containers has emerged as a social problem and is seen as one of the culprits of environmental pollution. But Furoshiki, on the other hand, are reused and environmentally friendly, so we're starting to see renewed interest in them. Today I'll be asking Keiko Kikuta of this shop about how to wrap things using these eco-friendly and quite fashionable Furoshiki. Let's try the flower petal wrap. First, spread out the furoshiki cloth in a diamond shape. Place the box in the center. Take the corners in the front and the back and cross them once. Then, take the left and right corners and cross them. Once it looks like this, pull the corners you crossed first diagonally and tie a simple knot. It should look like this. Next, take the corners you crossed second and also tie a simple knot. And it becomes a knot-like flower petals. This wrapping method is relatively easy, and since the four corners of the furoshiki are all different, when wrapped it looks very pretty. You can wrap gift boxes this way as well. We used a square box, but you can also use round boxes. 